singing her heart out for this packed Winnipeg arena, Shania Twain and her crew hit the road. On to the next tour stop, Saskatoon. Crews had to actually break windows and use an emergency hatch to get the 13 people who were trapped inside out. Just getting some hugs in with some of my great friends, you know, this is the Grammys is the most wonderful place to be able to cross roads. But we have to set our own trends, and I think what that's, that's what it's really about. I think we just have to set our minds. Who required medical attention were taken to nearby hospitals. Twain has a concert schedule for tonight in Saskatoon. in a position to express my independence. So I was more determined than ever to write the songs. Icy, slippery roads are a bane for drivers, and this time, Hollywood royalty has become its latest victim. Shania Twain barely managed to avoid a serious collision, but her team members weren't so lucky. Risky business. Shania Twain's tour crew members, who were in Canada as part of the singer's ongoing tour, met with a serious bus accident. It was a rollover bus crash, which occurred near Wolseley, Saskatchewan in Canada on Wednesday morning. The tour bus and the truck both rolled over off the road, and images of the crash showed significant damage to the tour bus on the side of an icy highway. In a position to express my independence, so I was more determined than ever to write the songs. Members of the production crew who require medical attention have been taken to nearby hospitals, Maverick said in a statement. We are incredibly thankful to the emergency services teams for their quick response and ongoing support. We ask for patience as we look after our touring family. Thankfully, Twain was not on the bus at the time of the accident. Royal Canadian Mounted Police responded to the scene of the crash after 7 a.m. and 13 people were treated for non-life-threatening injuries. All shaken up. Tour bus operator Beat the Street owner George Phillip said on Instagram that his company's in the statement confirming his tour bus company was involved. Phillip said he was devastated over the accident. The incident took place on the Trans-Canadian Highway near Wolseley, Saskatchewan, he wrote. All the passengers and driver are being evaluated for injuries and were immediately attended to by emergency responders and transported to the hospital for further treatment as needed shocked many uh, fans, including a dance crew family from the Sagging First Nation. They were actually pulled on stage. Who required medical attention were taken to nearby hospitals. Twain has a concert schedule for tonight in Saskatoon. Build it and they will come. You know, I think people, the public will respond. We have to just reach out. The Beat the Street USA team is cooperating with local authorities to respond to this incident. The Beat the Street USA team is cooperating with local authorities to respond to this incident. Maverick Management, which represents the Canadian singer-songwriter, confirmed that exactly one crew bus and one truck involved with Twain's Queen of Me tour were involved in the highway crash. Though one might think that intoxicating fluids or speeding might be the culprit in the near-fatal crash, in reality, it stemmed from dangerous driving conditions due to inclement weather. According to the RCMP, the highway accident occurred between Winnipeg and Saskatoon, to be more precise. Twain has yet to publicly, publicly comment on the crash. Her manager, Layla Hebden, she told CBC News in a Facebook message. We have to set our own trends, and I think what that's, re that's what it's really about. I think we just have to set our minds. Officers from Indian Head originally responded to the rollover just after 7 a.m. Highway 1 remained closed from Wolseley east to the Manitoba border due to poor road conditions, but was reopened just after 12 p.m. According to Saskatchewan's highway hotline, road conditions on Highway 1 were described as ice-covered and slippery on Wednesday morning. CTV News observed the vehicle involved in the rollover had Tennessee license plates. Branding on the vehicle identified it as part of the Beat the Street USA fleet, a Florida-based company specializing in band and crew busing, according to its website. Indian Head RCMP continue to investigate the crash. The town of Olsley is located approximately 100 kilometers east of Regina. According to footage obtained from the crash site, showing the bus toppled onto its side with debris lying all around it, there appeared to be snow and ice on the ground. The show must go on. A Shania Twain concert can only end one way. The Canadian country star has a host of Grammy-winning, record-breaking singles, but two songs from her Double Diamond 1997 album, Come On Over, just keep getting bigger. And obviously, she's saved them for last.
just in case it's not obvious. Twain's also wearing the hooded leopard print cat suit straight from the video for Sarcastic Anthem that don't impress me much. Twain's management says slick conditions sent the bus and everyone on it rolling into the ditch about an hour east of Regina. Just getting some hugs in with some of my great friends, you know, this is the Grammys is the most wonderful place to be able to cross roads. The Canadian singer was not on that bus, but it was carrying part of the production crew for a Queen of Me tour. The Queen of Me tour is the fifth and current headlining concert tour by Canadian recording artist Shania Twain in support of her sixth studio album, Queen of Me. Shania began the tour back on April 28, 2023 in Spokane, Washington and is scheduled to conclude in Vancouver, Canada on November 14, 2023. Man, I Feel Like a Woman has a riff so instantly recognizable that it feels like a fanfare and this cowboy booted crowd at the first of three arena shows she'll play in the city embrace her call to go totally crazy. It would be easy to lean on blockbusters such as these, but Twain's Queen of Me tour positions them as cherries on top of two full hours stacked with hits, zany cowboys and aliens staging, and towering self-confidence. Crews had to actually break windows and use an emergency hatch to get the 13 people who were trapped inside out. Concert venue tells us the show is still going ahead Thursday night. This leg of Twain's tour only has four shows left, Queen of Me, which came out this year, is her third UK number one album, and although she doesn't perform the title track, its celebration of autonomy shapes each concert. On December 6, 2022, she had announced the 19 new dates for the second leg of the tour due to phenomenal demand following the wildly successful announcement of the first leg. The second leg kicked off on October 12, 2023, taking the team to San Antonio, Texas, with stops across North America in Nashville, Toronto, Buffalo, Edmonton, and more. It is slated to wrap up on November 14, 2023 in Vancouver, Canada, making it a total of 76 shows. You've been a very private person, but this album now was one of your most personal ever. You wrote it entirely on your own. Singing her heart out for this packed Winnipeg arena, Shania Twain and her crew hit the road. On to the next tour stop, Saskatoon. It marks the singer's first tour in nearly five years, following a highly successful Vegas residency run, Let's Go, which ran from 2019 through 2022. On November 7, she stopped by Winnipeg, Canada to deliver a number of her hits in front of her devotees. She is set to perform again on November 9. However, it remains unknown if the crash will impact the upcoming gig. Twain had announced the tour on October 28, 2022 through her Instagram account. Tickets went on sale on November 4, 2022, though pre-sales available on November 1, and she also announced that $1 from each ticket is donated to her children-focused charity, Shania Kids Can. Due to high demand of the tour, on November 28, 2022, Twain added five additional dates to the tour, including an extra show both in Moncton, Canada and Glasgow, Scotland, and a new show in Bethel, New York, New Orleans, Louisiana and Leeds, UK. Crash happened on the Trans Canada Highway about 100 kilometers east of Regina about 7 o'clock yesterday morning. Shania Twain's production crew were taken to hospital after their bus rolled over this morning on an icy highway in Saskatchewan. Just one day before the collision, Twain had expressed how excited she was to be closing her tour in her home country. Twain performed at Canada Life Centre in Winnipeg the night before the crash and is set to take the stage at Sask Tell Center in Saskatoon on Thursday. Twain was scheduled to play her next show in Saskatoon on Thursday, around 200 miles from Wolseley, although it is unclear if this will be cancelled. Star Power The Canadian pop legend has been releasing catchy tunes since the early 1990s and has collated some of her biggest songs for her current set list. Her attire has had her wearing a number of eye-catching outfits on stage, with fans torn on their thoughts over the garments. Shania Twain is currently setting the world ablaze with her global Queen of Me tour, and she has been livening up her stage with her eye-catching outfit choices as much as her astounding vocal skills. The 58-year-old Canadian pop legend has been belting out hits since the early 1990s, and she's collated some of her biggest songs for her current set list. Twain, though, was not on board. Her management company says members of the production crew who required medical attention were taken to nearby hospitals.
And while some fans are loving all aspects of her tour shows, some fans have taken a look at some of Shania's outfits and deemed, that don't impress me much. Just before the accident, an excited Twain had tweeted alongside a photo of herself on stage in an elaborate pink cape. You know I had to give a little extra drama with my outfit for the final US show of the Queen of Me tour. I love how much the fabric is dancing in these photos. Now, we're in the final run of shows, ending the tour in Canada felt only right. Winnipeg, see your beautiful faces tonight blush. She has yet to speak out about the accident. That's all we have for you folks. Join us next time.